guys, it's me, Steph, and, um, I'm actually really, really, like, full of nauseous and gross feeling, so, I was gonna say more to this, but I'm kinda like, well, it's like 10.22 and I really wanna go to sleep after this, but I didn't want to leave you guys without a video, so, this is me recording my day, and, let me start off with this morning. I got up at like 5. Yeah, like 5. And then. Excuse me. I woke up at like 5. And then I got to drive to work. Which actually took a long time. I don't know why it felt like it was such a long time. Like I had to go from where I was staying at to a free. I had to exit like one freeway going west. And then I had to go on to another freeway, which took me to a junction to another freeway. And then I go all the way straight up, and then, and then I got to work, or I was on my way to work, and then I still had time to kill, so I went to Vaughn's, and I wanted to buy, um, a, like, a thing of honey, because I always drink green tea at work, and I like to put honey in my green tea, instead of, like, putting the sweetener and stuff, so... Yeah, so I got green tea, or I got my um, honey for my green tea, and then, um, I drove to work, and, yeah, I was at work, and then I, like, sat there and I, like, filed papers and stuff, and I, like, usually I'd be on Netflix watching stuff, but I didn't really feel like going on Netflix. I actually just watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Like, I was watching Timothy De La Ghetto, I was watching, um, Dodgers blog, and then I was watching my friend's podcast for Aztec Gaming, and then, yeah, I was doing that, and then, um, I ended up going with my co-worker, RG, to our college to see if we can get our book. But they didn't, because it's Martin Luther King Day, so it was closed. And yeah, I ended up, uh, after we were getting food, and we went to pho. And I was like, I don't really want to eat soup, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, I just, it would be like a bit greasy, I didn't really feel like eating soup. So I was like, I'm going to, and I don't really want to get egg rolls, cause it's like fried. And, all that, and I was like, hey, let's get, you know, a fresh spring roll, which had, like, you know, the, the rice flour paper, and then it has, like, shrimp, and, like, the vegetables, and noodles, and, like, the peeled, the shredded carrots, or whatever, carrot strings, and then I ate that, and then I got a, um, a pineapple smoothie, and then, like, my friend was telling me about how she felt sick, so I was like, hey, maybe we should get, like, a naked or something, because that's what I was craving. I was like, I want a smoothie, or just, like, I want something fruit. And she was like, okay, let's go get that, because she was, like, starting to get sick. So we were trying to look for the, the emergency one. Not the emergency, like, um, supplement, but, like, the, I think it's, like, Power C or something. It's for, yeah, it's for, for, like, the naked the naked juice or whatever and they didn't have it so we went to CVS and we were looking around and they only had the green superfood and then the protein one and then we ended up going to Albertsons and then I got the red machine one so my diet today was two of those spring fresh spring rolls um, a pineapple smoothie with boba and then a red machine naked and then like I drank that or whatever and then like I was fine until like an hour or two later or eh, an hour or two I just felt really weak and tired and I was like dude I don't know why I'm so exhausted and then I was sitting there and I was like dude my stomach like really hurts and I was also like peeing a lot, so I was just like, oh no, what's wrong with me? Why is my bladder so small? Anyways, I was like trying to figure it out, and um, I was like, I was like, dude, I really need to throw up. And I'm the type of person where if I need to throw up, like I know when I'm gonna throw up. Like, I don't, like it only happened once in sixth grade where I ate 
I don't know, the combination of la barbecue Lay's potato chips and pink sour, sour punch candy for breakfast was the worst idea ever. And I remember I was sitting across, I got super tired and drowsy, and then, like, by math, I was just like, my teacher was Miss Ellinger. I was like, Miss Ellinger, I need to, and it, like, was like this, and it just, like, flew out of my mouth like like a fountain and I ran to the water fountain and I just threw up and it sucked and I remember I was crying and crying and crying and it was the worst. Well today like I was getting off and I was just like okay well I really need you know like I really want to throw up but it's like really hard because like people are at work and people are using the bathroom it's like dang man I really need to go and, um, yeah, so, I went, I, I attempted twice to go to the bathroom, and I was just like, this is not the business. And it's not even like I had to go poo or anything. I had to throw up. Like, I could feel it, like, right here. It was a bubble, and it just felt like, I don't know, it just felt like a bunch of liquid just in my stomach. So, yeah, so, I, like, I was telling my dad, I was like, I'm really, I'm gonna throw up, it sucks. Like, why don't you just throw up? I was like, I can't. And I was like, well, you know, like, it's your body trying to, like, flush it out. So, you know, just try. And I, I wasn't trying to force it or anything. But the next time I went to the bathroom, just, like, the sight of the toilet, I was just like, Ooh. I just, it was really gross. And I'm sorry if this grosses you out. But it was straight, like, like, muh, like, <laughs> like that, that expression on my face, like, muh, I, was exactly how it came out. Like, <sighs> yeah, it just projectiled and it sucked because I was like, dude, like, I can't even control it. Like, if you're just standing there with your mouth, like, and it's just like pouring out and all you can do is this. And, yeah, I, it happened like three times. I'm pretty sure I, like, destroyed that stall. And then, like, I got off, like, I was like rinsing my mouth with the sink and some lady had to walk in and I was just like what stall are you going to take? And she went to my stall. She was there for like two seconds and then I saw her get out and I was like nope dip and I just dipped the bathroom. And then, like I said I yacked. I felt somewhat better but it was still like just really gross because it's like you can't control it and it's just really nasty. Anyways. That happened, and then, um, because I have my car, I had to go pick up the insurance, so I did some papers over there at the office, and then, um, this is an interesting thing, too, because the guy who was talking to me, like, my insurance holder or whatever, was just like, hey, you should call me whenever you need me, and gives me his personal phone number, and then it was funny, because he was, like, texting me during the day, and he was just like, Hey, you have some papers you need to file. Would you like to come in? And I never responded. And then he messaged me back and he was like, Okay, well, I sent you the application. So you don't have to sign it. You just fax it over to us. And I was like, Well, it's not really a big problem. Plus, I'll get it right then and there. So I can already have, like, you know, the policy in my car and not have to worry about it. Anyways, I did that, which is fine. I, like, I didn't have to pay anything. My dad already paid. And then, through that, I drove to my dad and then I drove to Starbucks and I was trying to figure out the hell I wanted because my body was just full of liquid and I thought maybe or at first I, I was like maybe a green tea lemonade because that's usually what I get at Starbucks and yeah my stomach was not having it it was not the business and then I was just like okay well maybe um maybe I can try bread and I was trying to get a croissant, but they didn't freaking have a croissant. They had a chocolate croissant, and then they had, like, a bunch of muffins and bran and stuff, and I was just like, honestly, like, I feel really nauseous. What would you recommend for me? And she was just like, well, you know, you can always get a bagel. And then she's like, well, what kind of bagel do you want? And I was like, uh, what are they? And then it was like, everything with cheese, and then a plain bagel, and then an all wheat. And I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I'll just get the white plain bagel. And seriously, that was the longest 10 minutes of my life eating that freaking bagel. 
So I didn't have cream cheese or anything. I just had the bread toasted. Let alone, yeah. Let alone, I like always have my feet covered and stuff like that was like annoying because it was just like, dude, like, um, wow. I think I'm so tired. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Yeah, let's skip whatever I said. Okay, so next thing that I do is talking about. I'm so sorry. This is boring. I, as you can see, I'm like exhausted, and I'm probably talking gibberish right now. It's fine. Um, yeah, we were talking about my place. Anyways, um. There was so much more when I was talking in the car, like, so much for me to go over. Well, okay, that's another thing I'm kind of, like, screwed with. Like, I'm happy that I have this car, which can get me where I need to go. Problem is, um, I'm trying to find a place to rent out, and that's, like, not the business for me, because, you know, my budget is very limited. Like, in a monthly fee at their school, uh, or at at the class they're taking is probably eh, well with the bog it's going to be at least like in the double in the double digits or whatever so um dude I'm so freaking tired <laughs> what did I say we got books I can't even remember well she anyways Enough about her. Um, what was I gonna say? I knew there was more questions. Hmm. Well, as you can see, I'm like extremely zombified and I'm super tired. I did find some names though, if you're interested. I found a Lewis Astanky. Lewis Astanky. And then Eileen Biggerstaff. And then, this one didn't have a last name, it was just like super fob, it said Trebor, <laughs> T-R-E-B-O-R, -E Trebor, instead of Trevor, and I was like, dude, that's freaking hilarious. Oh, okay, that's what I was talking about. Okay, so I threw up. <laughs> Sorry, I finally remembered now, because I was looking at my ginger ale. Yeah, I was like super gross, and I like threw up, and I was just being a brat. I know I was being a brat, but... I was just trying to figure out what I wanted, and I was just like, I don't know what's going to help my stomach. I even tried, like, ginger chews, and that was my goodness. I've been sipping on Canada Dry ginger ale. It's supposed to help with the bubbles. Like, that's the thing, too. Like, I just feel really, like, bubbly. or just liquidy, and I don't know what to do. But, yeah. So, I'm on, like, this liquid thing, and then... Um, yeah, okay, I'm really talking nonsense, I'm like really sleepy, I was really dazed, um, if anything we'll continue tomorrow, so thanks for watching guys, and good night. <laughs>